Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Friday, September 2nd. And I remind you that lots of great stuff is at fountainchurchtallahassee.org. And join us every Sunday for worship in this sanctuary at 1030 a.m. Or you can worship with us virtually or by drive-up worship. We'd love to have you. My scripture today is John chapter 7, verse 38. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. This is the word of the Lord. Well, I'm sitting here at the baptismal font because it symbolizes the fact that we are cleansed by the living waters, the same waters that baptized Jesus, but symbolically, the living water from which we will never again thirst and living water which fills our souls and spirits. So baptism is a beautiful, beautiful aspect of the Christian life. It is an ordinance that is blessed and one that we celebrate. But it got me thinking when I read an article about dehydration. Yes, dehydration is a very big problem, especially among those who are aging. And what is the problem with dehydration? Well, it very often goes undetected and it can mimic many other problems, health problems and conditions. It can even give the symptoms of dementia or Alzheimer's and many go misdiagnosed. Well, how can you be sure that you aren't falling victim to dehydration? Well, first, if your skin isn't as smooth or elastic, now of course the natural aging process does this, but if it's really gotten to where it just isn't what you think skin ought to be, you're probably dehydrated. Number two, how shall we say this? You have a difficult time, shall we say, going? Yes, that's a sure sign of dehydration. Are you hungry more often than you think you should? You see, being dehydrated doesn't necessarily trigger thirst, but it does trigger hunger. Are you sleeping too much? You're probably dehydrated. And what about spiritual dehydration? Well, if you don't feel the love of Jesus in your life, if you aren't a regular part of a worshiping fellowship, if the word of God isn't a daily and weekly part of your life, if prayer has become something you only occasionally use and then it's for a specific need at a specific moment, you may be spiritually dehydrated. I encourage you to engage the Lord Jesus Christ, that your life might be filled with hope, and of course, that you may be overflowing with living water. Let us pray. Lord, we pray that we will not become spiritually dehydrated, but we also will watch for the signs of dehydration in our lives and in our health, that we might be as healthy and live as abundant lives as possible. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.